What is up everybody? Very, very happy to be back today. Guys, I have missed you. Please forgive me. I have, I, I'll be honest with you guys, I have been neglecting the channel. Please forgive me. The last time I put out a video was a couple of weeks ago. Guys, that is not because I've just been slacking. If you guys are aware, I have another channel um, that I've been working on pretty heavily. I've been getting a lot of requests on that channel. So I'm trying to balance both channels as best as possible. Please forgive me. But I wanted to address a great topic for today's video. And I said, Joe, I just got back from the gym, still in my gym clothes. I said, Joe, you gotta do this. And I knew if I got you dressed, if I got changed, there's no way I would have been doing this video because I am shot from the gym. Guys, if you are aware, I have another channel. If you want to feel free, I'll link it up at the end. You guys can check that channel out. It's regarding bodybuilding. It's regarding um, uh, weight loss. It's regarding anything kind of health-based, uh, how to eat to lose weight, how to build muscle, all that stuff, guys. If you're, if you're familiar, I'll link it up at the end. If you're not familiar, you can check it out. Um, you know, Maybe you guys will appreciate it. And I sure uh, would appreciate that support on that channel as well, if you don't mind. Today, guys, we're going to be discussing the difference between a 5mm uh, Franco and a 6mm Franco. When I say difference, what I mean is we are going to be discussing the widths. We're going to be taking a look at the difference on me. Guys, in case you don't know, my name is Joe. I am currently, I believe, at 143 pounds, somewhere around that. Um, I am 5'6", so I'm not a big guy, so keep that in mind during this review. 5'6", 143 pounds, and um, we're going to be taking a look at a 5mm and a 6mm 20-inch Franco. And currently, I am standing away from the camera at about 12 feet away. The reason why, guys, is because I like to give you guys a good solid look from close as well as far so you guys can get a really good determination on what a chain is going to look like on you in real life rather than just stand up close in front of a camera and show you a chain that's going to look a million times bigger than what it truly is, okay? So I hope that this helps. I look forward to getting into this review. Let's get into it and not waste any more time. Thank you guys for being patient while I juggle both channels. It means a lot to me. All right, let's get into it, guys. So we are back with the five and six millimeter Francos. Take a look at this from about 12 feet away. You may or may not be able to tell a big difference from uh, where we are right now as far as uh, you know the, the, the distance from the camera, but I'm gonna get up close and personal to show you these Francos. Again, five and six millimeter. I was asked to show the difference between them as far as width. They're both at 20 inches in length, but I will wear them both to show you guys uh, the difference on the neck. As you guys might see on the wrist, there is a huge, huge, huge difference. Now some chains, um, some chains, some bracelets, they don't look all that big when you add a millimeter. This, however, is gigantic. It's so gigantic of a difference that I literally had to measure it three times. I had to measure the width three different times in order to make sure I was giving you guys the proper look at this. Now, I want you to keep something in mind. When you look at a Franco, it has two different designs, okay? As you can see, the, the, the design that you're looking at right now is kind of like an arrowhead design. When you flip the chain, okay? When you flip the chain, you have more of a link looking design. Depending on the, the side that you're looking at, that's gonna determine how big or small the chain looks to a very large degree, okay? When you look at the chain link side, at least in my opinion, it looks smaller, uh, excuse me, it looks bigger than when you look at it from the arrowhead side. The arrowhead side looks more of like a clean, kind of a cut, sharp looking chain, okay? But let's get these around the neck so we can see the difference. Let's do that right now. All right, guys, so you are about 12 feet away. Well, I am about 12 feet away from the camera right now, and I have this five millimeter Franco around the neck. Now, the reason why the viewer asked, I'm just gonna come up close so you guys can get a good view, and then I'll come back again, I'll show you a side profile. Uh, the reason why this viewer asked was because they were a little bit torn between a five and a six millimeter Franco, but obviously, when you go up a millimeter, it's gonna cost you a ton more money because you're paying by weight, right? So as you can see around the neck, this is the five. And this viewer wanted to see the difference between the five and the six to know whether or not they can get away with a five. 
In my opinion, guys, I think a five is great. Great, absolutely phenomenal for an everyday look. I think it's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Uh, nice, solid look. Ch Franco's are very solid looking, very strong. So in my opinion, you can get away with a smaller width with a Franco. In my opinion, you can get away with a smaller width when it comes to a Franco um, and still look strong at the same time. Um, similar to maybe a rope chain. A rope chain, you can get away with a smaller width and still come away looking strong even if it's at a smaller width because it's just a strong, chunky looking chain in my personal opinion, okay? So I'm gonna come up close again. This is the five, all right? You guys saw the side view. Now, I was asked um, to, to, to wear normal everyday clothes, not to wear anything specific, um, like a black shirt, for example, when I do these uh, videos, to show you guys what it'll look like in real life if you guys are, you know, wearing your normal clothes, because you're not always gonna be walking around in a black t-shirt, for example, okay? So, that's why I'm wearing my normal everyday attire. Right now, my gym clothes. Okay. All right, now let's take a look at that six millimeter. All right, so now we have the six millimeter around the neck, and again, guys, I had to measure this like three different times because to me, anyway, the six millimeter looked so much bigger than the five millimeter. But again, the five millimeter is still a very, very solid look, okay? And again, depending on the angle you're viewing the chain, it may look bigger or smaller depending on that angle, all right? So this is the six millimeter. Side neck view, even though I have a tank top on. Side neck view, I'll back up. Okay, backing up, backing up. 12 feet away from the camera. Give you guys the, the neck view. Okay. So that's the difference. Now let's wear both of them at the same time to give you guys a really, really solid look at what we're talking about here. All right guys, so you may be able to tell which one's the six and which one's the five, in case you can't, which I don't believe that's the case, but in case you can't, the top one, the shorter one, is the five millimeter. The lower one is the six. Now these aren't two different length chains. I just simply pulled one back on my neck a little bit to show you guys the difference because I have both of these in 20 inches of length. Take a look at this up close, guys. Is it worth the extra money to get the six? Because you're spending a ton more money. Okay, that's, that's the question you gotta ask yourselves. Is it worth that extra money? Okay, now, I mean, a lot of the time, bigger the better. I personally, as you guys know, like to go smaller, depending on how I'm wearing the chain. Okay, here's a side view. Show you guys the difference from the side, but you guys know I like to go a little bit smaller personally. If my chain is on the outside of my shirt, if the chain is tucked in on my shirt, then I will like to go a little bigger. Okay, that's just me personally. I feel like a larger width chain on the inside of a shirt because you're showing less of the overall chain itself, I feel like having a bigger length inside the shirt works better than having a smaller length on the inside of the shirt. And if you have the whole chain exposed, um, I like to have maybe a smaller width because you're showing more of the chain. I feel it's a good balance between tasteful and how do you say, I don't know. I think it's more tasteful personally. But that's my personal opinion. However you guys rock your stuff is up to you. I'm different than you guys as I've mentioned in a million videos, okay? Some people can rock certain things that others can't and I just am not good in my opinion at rocking larger width chains or even chains on the outside of my shirt. I just personally am not good at that. However you guys rock your stuff is how you rock your stuff. 
no judgment zone over here, okay guys? So I hope this was helpful. Again, this is the six, this is the five. Franco, hope this video helped. Guys, I will get another video out in the future of perhaps me wearing these separate to show you guys a good gauge just separately and I'll probably throw a black t-shirt on uh, for that video. Uh, currently, I don't have a black t-shirt available. So look forward to getting that video out soon and I look forward to getting out the other requests that I've had by you awesome viewers because truly guys, I appreciate your support for this channel. I appreciate your support for my other channel as well. It means a lot to me. And I really appreciate all of the uh, questions that you guys have been having. And I also appreciate the requests. So I'm gonna do my best to get those requests out. Please forgive me, life has been very busy. So I'm trying to get things out when I can. Look forward to talking to you guys soon. Be safe and I'll catch you all at the next video.